Um, hello, this video is another example of communication between Unity and TA portal and in this example we will consider the conveyor, the object will move along it. Here we have two sensors for changing speed or more precise stopping here. Next we have robot and uh, different colors we can generate different colors and next we can sort different colors. For example this simulator has two modes, manual mode and PLC mode when we control it with the TA portal. For example currently I'm in, in manual mode so we can generate different uh, cubes. For example red cube if I, if I will play and this simulator next I will um, click the red cube, red cube will be generated. It has already programmed, so as we could see, uh, firstly it moves with the fast speed, next it changes sp speed to the slow one and stop here. Next, if we click here, we can also sort it. It will be placed to the red region. And a robot will move to the initial position. Next, for example, and it will be destroyed, so we can uh, create another cube and also sort it. Next, we can also create green cube and also sort it. At the same time, I can create blue cube. The green cube will be moved. And next, we can operate with the uh, blue cube. Next, let's consider the uh, PLC mode. Uh, what we have here. Here we, here we have addresses. Same addresses we need to configure it in the TA portal. For example, we have uh, control buttons. These signals we send to PLC. Also, we send sensor signals to the PLC. For example, For example, we have three buttons, these signals we send to PLC and also we have two sensors, SQ1 and SQ2. Um, located on the conveyor, this we also send to PLC for changing the speed. And also uh, we send signal of the robot. when our robot uh, proceeds the operation, when it's busy. So we will know when it finished, so we can uh, place another cube. So when robot located something, then move to the initial position, uh, this one is generated. Also what we get from PLC, uh, we get uh, signals for generating cubes, red green, uh, blue, and also uh, operation for a robot to locate these cubes uh, to the particular places. Also signals to operate with the conveyor uh, to change speed, to start with the fast speed, then change it to the slow one. So same signals we need to configure it in the TA portal, so simply we can uh, in the same order, locate buttons, sensors, robot proceed, next uh, create cube, locate cube, and speed. So firstly we fill this column, uh, we won't have addresses here, for example if I uh, add something new here, change it, we will see that we need to, we won't have address here, also currently also will delete it and in order to uh, have address here we need to click compile. 
after this we'll have uh, similar addresses to this one. Here we also have a demo program of the robot operation and in this program I also uh, create example how to locate the red cube. Uh, what we need to do next is to run the net to plc program uh, from the administrator. Click yes here. And next open the file or create a, a new one. So here we need to, for example, if you click the new one, here you need to have the network IP address. This is the IP address of the simulator. And IP address of the uh, PLC. After that we simply start this server. And address of the PLC you can check uh, here device and networks. So you set up it here. Properties is your IP address. And when you create new project in order to communicate between TA portal and uh, Unity, you need to uh, make sure that it's full access here. And also activate this toggle, permit access with, uh, for this communication. Also, when you create a new data block for addresses, so you click here and then OK, then you will have this data block for addresses. Here also you need to change properties, you need to click attributes, optimize block access, deactivate this toggle. Then you will be able to communicate between Unity and a portal. Uh, next we need to click uh, communicate simulation, uh, load our program. Or working with the automatic mode and wait till the PLC sim will be loaded. Click load here. So next we can monitor these values here, the state. Next we also start our simulator, go to the PLC mode and for example if I will click these buttons um, we will see these changes here. Uh, if I will click the first button, it includes to my program, so the program for locating the red cube will be started. We also can monitor status here. So for example, if I will click this button, the cube will be generated, then robot will move and it will locate the red cube to the red place. So next it will be destroyed, so I can reset my program with the second button and create the red cube again. 